hi we're here to talk about Aries. Aries is a zodiac sign and all of the zodiac signs exist in a belt, an imaginary belt, which is around the girdle of the earth. Um, so these zodiac signs are Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Um, and so what you can get from that is that actually they all were around you at the moment of your birth because you were born on earth. Um, and so this belt of energies was around you. But depending on the time of the year you were born, the sun appears to be coming into the earth from one particular portion of the sky. If you can imagine the earth as um, a golf ball, a pretty big golf ball, but ima imagine this is in a, a Terry's chocolate orange now. The segments of the sky are the segments of the chocolate orange. And each of those segments represents a portion of the sky which is a zodiac sign. So if you were born um, in the spring, maybe after around March um, the 20th, then you were born at a time when the sun appeared to be coming through a particular portion of the sky, and that would be the portion of the sky called Aries, and so you would be called an Aries. But you could be born at a different time of the year, let's say you were born in September, and Aries is still there, <laughs> it's still in that band um, of energy um, around the Earth, it's just that it's not hugely strong for you, um, unless certain circumstances um, happen, in which case it could be quite strong for you. We're all born with some Aries in us. Those with the sun in Aries have a sun sign in Aries. Okay, they've got a big dollop of it, but we've all got some Aries somewhere. So what I want to do with this video is just explain about the Aries within you and just explain what that Aries is I want to describe the motivational process, that personality trait, that, that portion of you, that little bit of you, which has this Aries thrust to it. So to do that, I have to explain a little about the, the sign of Aries, but this doesn't actually describe Aries people, um, Aries sun sign people, it'll be similar, but the main thing I'm trying to do is just describe Aries as an energy and that portion of the sky called Aries and how we all have some of that in us and what it's like to have that, how we recognize that energy. So all of the zodiac signs are arranged in an order and Pisces is the last zodiac sign and Aries is the first zodiac sign. So we go from Pisces into Aries at the spring equinox. And that's a pretty big jump that we have to take. The energy in the sky changes significantly. So what we need to understand about Pisces is that this energy is all about dissolution, dissolving. It's all about returning everything to a primordial soup, to um, a, a, just stuff that um, new life can spring from. So Pisces is about the collective and it's about how important the collective is to the collective. So every single, say we're an ant colony, so in Pisces, um, every single ant is aware of how important the ant colony is and every single um, Pisces will um, sacrifice themselves for the good of the collective. It's all about how if, being compassionate with everybody. It's all about sacrifice to everybody. But when we get to Aries, the energy shifts and in Aries, the focus is returned to the center of ourselves. It says how we are the most important thing, how a single soul, a single life is the most important thing to us. So the Aries energy in us is all about me, 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 me and I. The Aries energy has to break free of that Piscean soup. It has to, uh, if you like, drag itself out of the birth canal, a very difficult journey we make. And so the Aries energy has to have strength and dynamic energy to burst out of something, to begin something, to initiate something, to start something with vigor and fight. So the Aries energy is all about championing the cause, fighting the good fight, and establishing a strength and a power and a dynamic leadership. Um, Aries people are very known for being gallant and being romantic knights in shining armour, if you like. But for the Aries energy, it's actually all about the fight. It's about the challenge. 
It's about establishing something and saying, here I am and I will lead you. Um, Aries people, the Aries people themselves, the Aryans, uh, people with sun sign era Aries, are, are lovely people to be around in one respect because they can be quite naive. Um, if you um, if you borrow ten pound from an Aries person, then it's unlikely they'll ask for it back. Um, they're not very good with money. Uh, for Aries, the, this life is all about championing and fighting and being dynamic and leading, and it's all about thrusting forward. This is the energy which in the northern hemisphere comes to us in spring, and so it's all about everything bursting into life. Um, it's a it's a wonderful energy for doing something because if you're in your Aries frame of mind then what you're most urgently wanting to do is to do something this energy fights for the sake of fighting it is ruled by Mars the god of war so as you can see then here we have an energy which is all about being on the battlefield and getting out there and winning Aries wins um, more than anything it wants to win and it wants to win the big, biggest battles of all so um, if it can be a really big battle then Aries is going to be really happy about winning that so there we go there's a little about the Aries energy and I uh, hope you enjoyed that another one in the series that I'm making about all the zodiac signs okay bye